Welcome, and I just wanted to share with you a new pack series that I've just launched, and it's called the Dub Pack Series. And in each series, the idea is to take a full song that I've created specifically for the Dub Pack Series and break it down into a few different formats. So for you as a producer and artist, you can use it in any which way you want and maximize the integration into any DAW, uh, something like Ableton, Machine, or whatever the program that you're using to create your music. I've tried to provide all the tools for you to use this pack and to its maximum efficiency. So in this, I've created uh, a full song, as you can see, and this is called Subsystem Dub. It's 130 BPM, so it's kind of in that sweet spot. It's 10 shy of, uh, you know, dubstep and a lot of different, sh like, trap music and et cetera, but you can speed it up. It's easy to do. Uh, so an example, I'll just play a little cut of what the song is. So there you go, you get a little taste of what the song is. Um, what I was saying about being able to speed it up. So if you were working around 140, you could easily just change the tempo and off you go. So pretty much anything you wanna do with it, you can within, you know, within reason. Most times the BPMs, you've got a, probably a 20 you know, 10 either way, maybe a little bit more, depending on how much activity is going on. Uh, so that gives you pretty a lot of flexibility to use it in different styles of music. I've also set up each track so you can see exactly what they are. The snare echo, snare echo reverb, snare kick, hi-hat. There's three hi-hats in here because each one does a little something different. Ride, cymbal, crash. Uh, of course, we've got the bass lines, we've got the music group and track effects. And these are actually just running the entire music group through echoes and delays and reverbs to get some different sounds and sonic scapes that you can kind of play with and shift around. What I do like about the effects things like this is if you're in the track, uh, in your own track and it's the key of G minor, you can just lay these in and pick the bits that you like that fit into your song that you probably wouldn't be able to get any other way because it's just so different. I'm using different gear. And so that's a nice option. The other thing you can do uh, with this pack is I've created bass. So I've actually got alternate bass lines included. So that's what you see here with the muted parts. So you can have uh, the main bass line, which is this. It sounds better when the volume's up. Let me try that. All right, if I mute that and I go to this one. Got a few different bass lines to play with there uh in the music group you've got various keys synth pads a little choir skanks uh trumpet muted trumpet skank and a little riff there and of course the effects track so you've got quite a variety of tools to work with there's 42 individual tracks and five group tracks why i include the group tracks is because they're mixed i've mixed them how i want them how i would mix them in a song to release so they're already set so when you hear this You've got it, you've got that. Or you can go in and cherry pick what you want, what you wanna use, what you don't wanna use. What I like about having full track stems is it gives you that option to go, okay, I like that. I'm gonna get rid of, say this. I'm just gonna keep this part here. I can actually just go out in a different kick, doing a different pattern. It kind of just gives you maximum flexibility. The other thing I did is, of course, I looped everything. So all these little four bar and eight bars, they're all looped up into a loop pack with the one shot. So you can drag and drop into any program that you want to use. They are tempo matched, so you're ready to go. Then the other two things is I did, I for the first time, I created Ableton drum racks specifically for this pack. I've taken the one shots. And if you can see down here, I've got basically eight drums and then eight variety, music, bass, uh, conga, and I've also created two demo tracks. These are eight bars in Ableton here. So I'll play a quick uh, one. And then I'll play the other. So 
So you've got all these things. So in these, I've created the actual, these are your demos tracks to start with. I've split them up. So all the loops from each part, the kick, the snare, the rim shots, etc., they're all looped up. There's the MIDI files, which I've saved for you. And of course you've got the demo tracks and the rack. Now, moving on, same idea with uh, Machine, which I've been using for a long time here. I've created two tracks to start working with. Again, broken down to 16. Couple parts are a little bit different than the Ableton one, uh, but the same concept is there. Two different demo tracks. These are 16 bars. <laughs> here we'll go back and so we've got that so again with these I've looped them out I've created all the MIDI files for them and you get the two demo songs plus the machine kit to kind of get you started here the great thing about this is you can just pick what you want and start building a new track from it really easily because you've got all your pads and everything set up you can add a new group and start building on top of that so and so that's a look at the new pack series called the Dub Pack Series and Subsystem Dub, the first volume, and what you can do. So there's the stems, MIDI files, presets, etc. I've tried to stack everything into one pack that you can purchase or split them into the packs that you want to purchase. If you're just an Ableton user, you can grab that. If you're just a machine, if you want just the loops or if you want just the stems, I've given you the option to purchase any of those. So... I hope you check it out and I hope you find it interesting and I do welcome your comments and feedback, um, things that you want to see, things that you might want more of or less of. Uh, anything is good for me to know because as I go forward in the future, I'll be creating new songs, same concept, and it'll help me know what you're looking for. So let me know, dubmatix at dubmatix.com and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. <laughs>